recording of progress. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Rosalie. How good you... evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Um hard the day hard. A hard day? Yes. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Erica. Good evening, good evening. Sorry. Welcome, Erica. Nice to see you again. Good night, teacher. Hello, welcome, welcome. A pleasure to see you again. I'm ready to start. Yes, um, I'm going to wake up maybe two minutes in order to start.
Sandra, welcome, welcome, Katia, Meralda, and Victoria. Good Angel. evening, teacher. Good evening, Diana. Good evening, Eric. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Aquí te vas a quedar. En el Salvador. No, no, va a quedar, vos. Vaya, ¿quién falta aquí? Vamos a Gaby. Hola, niña. Sí, pero sale. Microphone. Microphone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Diana. How do you feel today? <laughs> good. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Remember, uh, we are ending week three. Estamos finalizando la semana tres. Nos queda una para terminar el módulo. Así es. Ya casi llegamos. Ya casi llegamos. Por ahí vi que les enviaron la, las preinscripciones para el módulo que sigue. Invitarles a que no pierdan el ritmo. Hay que seguir hacia adelante. Eh, todo cuesta, pero hay que hacer el esfuerzo. De lo contrario, solo vamos a ver pasar y cuando menos acordemos, los que fueron mis compañeros están terminando. Y después vienen los personal regrets. Si yo hubiese seguido, hubiese terminado. Si yo tal cosa. Y ni modo, nos toca lo que no pudimos hacer antes por X o Y razones. Nos toca hacerlo hoy. Y con mayor esfuerzo. Y si tenemos niños pequeños, a demostrarles que sí se puede. Sí se puede. Después hasta le van a ayudar a sus chicos cuando ya ellos estén llevando inglés. Les van a decir, no, esto es así, 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 así. Ya no vamos a estar nosotros los, los facilitadores, pero al menos la enseñanza va a estar con ustedes y eso es importante. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ok, ok. Ok, let me check out... Uh, The attendance. Okay, let me see how many people do I have now. 15. Okay, tengo 15. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us start then. Because we have a lot of things to do today. Tenemos mucho que hacer un review. And a lot of work. But before I need to check out the, the attendance. Necesito revisar la asistencia. Y o escribir una observación aquí de alguien ahorita mismo. Permítanme. Okay. Uh, Ana Victoria? Present. Okay, welcome. Eh, Andrés Leonardo? Good evening. I'm here, teacher. Okay, sir, two. Angel Giovanni? Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Brenda Natalie. It's not here. Carlos Eliaser. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Eh, Diana. Present, teacher. Okay. Erica. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Hello. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid. Eh, Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Jose Alejandro. Don Alejandro. Are you there? Present teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Escucha bien? Yes. Aquí estamos. Ok, solo déjeme escribir un comentario. Okay, let me continue then. Katia. Present teacher. Okay, Katia. Eh, Luis Armando Girón. Ya no se presentó también. Eh, Marvin Alexander. Marvin, Marvin. Okay, um, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra Elizabeth. Michael Enrique. Not here. Rosalie is there. Present teacher. Okay, Sandra Ivet. I'm here, teacher. Okay. And Sonia Smeralda. Present teacher. Okay, Smeralda. Okay, let us start now. Okay, hold on. Let me see my slides.
Okay. Here we go. Okay, uh, our topic for today is vocabulary practice. This is class number 16. We are going to talk about the different topics that we have studied until today. Vamos a ver los diferentes temas que hemos visto durante la semana hasta el día de hoy. And I hope that you can uh, remember something. Okay, we are going to start with this activity. Uh, you are going to create a question with the WH word provided below, then ask the question to a partner. I'm going to give you like uh, six or seven minutes in order that you create one question with each word. Ok, lo primero que haremos es crear una pregunta con cada una de estas palabras. Tan pronto ustedes terminen, vamos a hacer un breakout room and then you are going to ask the question. Ok. What, when, where, why, and who? You already had the structure how to create it, so try to do it now, please. If you have any questions so far from here, just let me know. Si tienen alguna consulta, por favor, eh, no duden en hacerla. Thank you, teacher. Okay.
As soon as you finish, yes, uh, let me know in order to share the information with the rest of the class, please. Finish, teacher. Did you finish? Finish. Yes, teacher, finish. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop. Uh, I need that if you already finished, uh, raise your hand. Los que vayan finalizando, por favor, me ponen una manito arriba para ir contabilizando de que si ya estamos listos. Vamos a esperar a los demás. I got four, five, okay. Let us wait a little bit for the rest. Teacher, una consulta es de wo en español sería what o how 
W-H-O. How. How. Okay. Cómo. Cómo. Ah, ok. Gracias. No, how do you, how teacher. Do you, how do you feel today, for example? She said W-H-O. It's who. Who. Ah. Who is different? Quién. Okay, let me show you here in order to be sure. Okay. Mm, okay, who is this one? W H O. Yes, yes. This is quien. Quien. Yes. Okay, thank you. But if we have uh, H first, O and W is how. But in this case, who? Okay, uh, wait a little bit for the rest of the class, please. Unit one, lesson one. Conversation four, page 11. Hello, Hi, may I speak with Tim Fraser? Okay, I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting. I remember that I asked you to create some question using these words at the beginning of the week. Cuando vimos esto, eh, me recuerdo que les pedí que hicieran algunas oraciones. Yes, teacher. Okay, let us um, create a breakout room in order that you can ask the question to someone else. Como ambos tienen preguntas, uh, primero van a hacerlas, van a obtener una respuesta. Luego, switch the role and you are going to, the one that answer uh, are going to ask the questions. Los que respondan luego hacen en ellos sus preguntas. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute in order that you can ask these questions. Okay, here we go. Oh, Erika, 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 Erika is alone. My goodness, hold on a second here.
Okay, I need that all of you accept my invitation in order that you can go to the breakout room and share the information that you have there. So please try to do it now. A todos los están esperando en su sala. Teacher, a mí se me desconectó el, el, el Zoom. No sé si me puede volver a agregar. No, ahorita, permítame. Don Alejandro, ahí le envié la invitación. Se salió otra vez. Hey, teacher. Time is over. Time is over. As a matter of fact, what really difficult because um, maybe some of you have some problem in your internet connection. Realmente fue como complicado porque algunos entraban y se salían y me los dejaban solos. Me tocaba que estar moviendo de sala para que acompañaran a sus compañeros, valga la redundancia. Eh, pues no sé, quizás el internet no está muy estable o algo es lo que pasó ahí, pero a Erika me la dejaron sola también. A mí también, que se, sí, se cortó que alguien, que alguien entrara. Ok, no lo... uh, what, what we are going to do is this, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. 
you are going to choose someone, usted va a elegir a alguien, and you are going to ask your fair question. Todos lo van a hacer. Van, van a hacer la pregunta uno que, te, que tienen ahí. And uh, you are going to answer the rest. Just listen. A la persona que se le haga la pregunta, él trate de responder lo que le están preguntando. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to start doing this. Voluntario. Okay, Mayra, you are the uh -huh. or Evelyn. Um, or Sandra, I don't know. Evelyn. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn is there. Okay. Yeah, Maria. Okay. Can you ask me? Repeat. Repeat. Que <laughs> haga la pregunta, Evelyn. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, when you went to the team, Repeat, repeat again. When you went to the team. When did you? When you went to the team. En español sería. Cuando fuiste al team. Ah, al team. Okay. 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 okay, okay. When, okay, hold on. When did you go to the gym? When, uh -huh. when you went, or, when, or is no, when no, to... No, 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 when did you, or when do you... When do you... When do you go to the gym? Ooh, okay. Okay. I never I never have go to the gym. Okay. <laughs> I never have got got gone to the gym. Gone to the gym. Lo tiene en su casa por eso no. Okay. Otra. Oh. The next question. Uh, where did you leave your shoes? Where? Where did you leave your shoes? En español, ¿cómo sería? ¿Dónde dejaste los zapatos? Ah, entonces sería where... <laughs> Perdón. Si es en pasado sería where did, where, you, uh -huh. did you leave your shoes? Así es. Okay. Uh -huh. Where did you leave your shoes? Uh -huh. Okay. El leave es de, de dejar, no de vivir. Live. 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 Okay. Ah, es live. Okay. I live in. Under my belt. I left. Ahí vamos left. a usar el pasado. I left. I left. I left under my belt. I left under your bed. Ok. ¿Qué preguntas más raras dirán los compañeros? <laughs> no, that, that is the reason why I'm, I'm letting you to share the information. Cada uno tiene su manera, ya verá. Ok, Sandra, okay. ask a question. Choose someone. Okay. Uh, Jose Alejandro, what are you do the next weekend? Mm. Can you repeat, everyone? What are you do the next weekend? Sería, what are you going to do next weekend? Esa sería en futuro. Okay. What, what are you going? No. Okay. Si fuese en presente sería what? No, no sería what are you will going to next or the next. Okay. If you talk about the future, si, si va a hablar del futuro, 
Usted va a decir, what are you going to do the next week? If we what are, are you going to do the next yeah, week? If we are going to talk about present, you can say, what do you do this week? ¿Qué, qué, qué haces esta semana? Acordémonos de la estructura, por favor. Good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alejandro, ask and choose someone first. Elige a alguien, por favor. Y hazle una pregunta. Eh, Ana Victoria. Dígame. Eh, what size you have in class? Will you repeat again, or please? Okay. What time you had in class? Okay, maybe it sound better in this way. What time do you attend your English classes? Oh, what oh, time wow. do you attend your English class? A qué hora recibe las clases de inglés? Okay. okay. What time do you do at English class? Okay, I receive a class at um, eight o'clock. Okay. Okay. It's better if you say from eight to ten. Eight to ten. I attend it from I... eight to ten. Teacher. Hello, sir. Hello. A question. Is correct. Uh, when do you wait out to eat? When do you we out to eat? And, and you want to uh, lo que quiere decir es si, si, si alguien quiere salir a comer, ok. Ajá, como decir como cuando salimos a comer, si es correcto así o, o no. Ah, okay. It's like uh, to make an invitation. When are you going to be free in order that we can go out and eat something? Oh, okay. Or when we can go out and eat something. Directa. Oh, okay. Okay, somebody else. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Somebody else? Yo puedo preguntar también, ¿verdad? Yes, of course, you can. Okay. Um, so look, choose someone. A Mayra. And when is your birthday? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Um, okay. Um, my birthday is. Um, in July. Okay. Try to remember uh, the preposition that we studied yesterday. Traten de recordar las preposiciones que estudiamos ayer cuando usamos fechas, cuando usamos días. Okay, and try to apply it now, please. Okay, okay. And um, my birthday on July. Okay, that's it. Puedo preguntar otra. Okay, go ahead. Why, why are you asleep? <laughs> Why are you asleep? Sleep, no sé es, si es sleepy. Tal vez en presente. Sleep. ¿Por qué estás como soñoliento? Sí. Porque si lo hacemos en presente, sleepy. así. A kind of sleepy when somebody is, is in this way. Yeah. Maybe it's bored or I don't know what kind of job uh, or activity performed during the day. 
or maybe somebody seeks, I don't know, different perspective. Okay, okay somebody else? No? Sí, Hello? Yo. Okay. Um, a Katia. Ah, okay, Katia. Why are you studying English? Ah, okay, good question. Why are you studying English? Uh -huh. Aha. Um, <laughs> I study English because because um uh como es como es pero quiero ver for best for best opportunity Um, okay, uh, tell, tell me in Spanish and I, I'm going to give, to give you a hand. Como para mejorar o para reforzar el conocimiento. Okay, I'm starting English because I would like to be better in the language. Okay. 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 Well, maybe somebody could say I'm starting English because I want to get a, a better opportunities. Okay, gracias. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, let's move because we have a lot of things to do today. Okay, hold on a second here. Let me move. Okay. Okay, what about this one? Scramble the words and describe them. So your partner guess the name of the department. Scramble the word. Encuentre qué palabra es la que está oculta acá. And then uh, we are going to ask for a definition. Y luego vemos una definición. We already studied the, this, uh, this term. Ya estudiamos estos términos, así es que... Ahí solo es de usar estrategias para encontrar cuáles. Number one is production. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. And what is the definition of production? Show me. Mm, in the book, in the book, pay, control and super, supervise the production, workforce and inventory. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, excellent. Number two? What is number two? Try to, try to scramble and discover the world. ¿Cuál será? No es punish it. ¿Which one? Es como punish it. Mm. Tiene que ver con... Uh... Pero algo de compras, por, por, purchase, algo así. Purchase. Mm -hmm. Caliente, caliente. Cerca, cerquita. <ríe> A 
hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, you can do it. Or chatting, teacher. Excuse me? Or chatting. Ah, okay, purchasing, purchasing. Okay, purchasing. Okay, purchasing. And the concept? Um, buy and acquire real material production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Okay, perfect, bingo. They buy and acquire raw material, production equipment, etc., for the use of organization. Okay, what about number three? Human, human, human. Okay. <laughs> Human, human, human. Okay, human. Human research management. Management, management. Ah, okay. Human research management. And what is the concept? Recruit. What what is the concept? Recruit, select and train new employees for the right how in the company. Okay, human resources management. Uh, they recruit, select and train new employees. Okay. For the right job in the company. Okay, you already have that. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about this one? I got three more. Try to identify it. Tell me. Research and devel development. No sé. Algo así. Research and development. O development. 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 Anoten la pronunciación. Development. Research and development. ¿Se dan cuenta cómo, la, cómo el cerebro es capaz de poder descifrar? Ok, en la definición, ¿qué hacen? Para desarrollar el diseño. Okay. What about the next one? In research and development, what they do is just to develop and design new uh, or uh, existing product. 
Okay, what about number four? Number four. Um, marketing. 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 Okay, bingo. And what about the concept? The definition of marketing. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Okay, perfect, perfect. I like that. And number six. Accounting and finance. 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 Okay. And the definition? It's a financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Inflow and outflow. Inflow and outflow. Le, le recordé esos términos y les dije anótenlo. Los van a usar. Tomen un lado. Ingresos y egresos. Ok. Vayan anotando, por favor. Ok, number two. Simple present information question, right? Uh, Seek information question using the WH word provided. Then ask them to a friend and write down the information. Ok, this is the third uh, time that I ask you to do it. Bueno, este es parecido al ejercicio que ya hicimos al inicio. So I guess uh, we can move forward. Okay, what about this? Let us work right here. What we are going to create here? We are going to ask questions. Okay, do you remember that we started doing this? So remember, we must do and that. Okay, you are going to create question. Eh, y en algunas que ya tienen WH y no vamos a usar a uh, when. After when we can use when do you why do you? Okay, try to resolve. I can resolve number one, for example, uh, if you don't understand what you are going to do. Um, do you like English? I can, I can write down here. Do you like English? Do you like English? Wow, 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 wow. And I put the question mark, and I already had the question, okay. What about the rest? Okay, I'm going to give you like five minutes or more in order that you can resolve. Take a screenshot, please. Puedes hacer una captura, por favor. And we can work on it. As soon as somebody take uh, the screenshot, let me know and share it in the, in the group, please.
Did you finish? Not yet? Teacher. Hello. Charlie. Solo quiero salir de la duda. Entonces, los que ya llevan WH, no se les agrega el do ni el das. Mm. O oh, sí. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay. Hold on, let me show you, let me show you. Yeah. Okay, for example, this when go the boys to a school. ¿Cómo puedo hacer esa pregunta? Yo la hice así. Okay, chao. When go the boys to a school. Uh, you missed the, 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 the main verb. Le falta el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo que falta? Yo la hice do when do. Perdón, ¿cuál era? ¿Cuál era? ¿Cuál era? Eh... La cuatro. Pero que go no es el verbo ya. Ok. When go do the boys, do the boys. go to school. Go to a school. Okay, yo, la hice, yo la hice do when go a boy to the school. ¿Está bien así? The, the correct way is when do the boys go to school. Ok. When do... Ok. Okay, number five. Why you smoke? Why you Why do smoke? you smoke? Okay, why do you smoke? Okay, number six, check uh teacher your homework. Okay. Das. Das. 
ok y se puede agregar el da teacher yeah you can add it that's your teacher check your homework Okay. Or does the teacher check your homework? Yes. Okay. Number seven. When Bill get up in the morning? Mm. Or is it revés? When get up Bill in the morning? Do you consider there's something that's missing there? When is Bill get up in the morning? No, no is. When does? Ah, when does, when does. Yes. When does Bill get up in the morning? I'm okay, I'm busy. Uh, talking about time. Okay, number eight, drink your milk. Do you drink milk? Repeat again. Do you drink milk? Uh, do, you, do you drink milk? It's like, uh, do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Let me stop doing this. I need to see something else here. Okay, let me share the, the following exercise that is going to clarify some doubt that maybe you have. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, do, does, don't, or doesn't. Teacher. Teacher. Hello, tell me. Uh, I have a question. Antes okay. de pasar a la siguiente. ¿Por qué si la... Y las palabras de la segunda, de, de la segunda son play, he y fútbol. Eh, la respuesta correcta es, do you play football? Ok, let me go back again. Let me go back again. Ok, hold on. Déjeme regresar al ejercicio. Okay, you are talking about which one? Uh, about the number two? Ajá, uh -huh, number two. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, I make a mistake here. It's, it's, instead of you, is does he? Yeah, you are right. Yeah, does he play football? In this case, because uh, cause the, the personal pronoun is he, not no, it's you. You are right. Okay, hold on a second. Let me switch it. I'm going to erase it and put it in the right way. Come on, I can I can erase it. I don't know why. Come on, come on. Yeah, of course, right here. Well, we need to, to switch is just the auxiliary. That's key. Does he play football? Yeah, you are right. Okay. Okay, you are right. Okay, uh, what about this one? We need to make a review about this. When we are going to you do does or don't or doesn't. In this case, for example, Use do and does to ask question in the present tense. See the box below. We have it here. Okay, hold on a second. I'm, I'm going to move it. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to use do with I, you, we, and they. That is right. Vamos a usar do con estos cuatro pronombres. Do I have the right chance? Do you have the right chance? Do we? Do they? Okay, and right here, we are going to use that with he, she, and it. Does he work here? Trabaja el aquí. Does she work here? Does it work here? Y eso funciona aquí. Okay, based on this chart, uh, I need that you resolve the, this one. Let me move a little bit. Okay, from one to eight. But try to do it uh, with the right ending. Traten de hacerlo así, como quien dice, yo resuelvo la uno, la dos, and tell me. Do you always have toast and coffee for breakfast? Do, do you always have toast? Okay, okay. Do you always have toast and coffee for breakfast? Okay, number two. Das. Okay, read the whole the whole question, please. Lea la pregunta completa, por favor. Does Ramon with 40 lock in day or every day? Okay. Uh, does Ramon swing 40 laps in the pool every day? Okay, number three. Does David travel to many different countries on his job? On his job. On his job. Yes. Does David travel to many different countries on his job? Yes, he do. No, he doesn't. Okay. Number four. Does Complete, complete. Okay. Does Nur take care of the panties in the hospital? Ah, okay. Take a look, take a look at the noun. Observemos, okay. bien, observemos bien el nombre que aparece ahí. Y si realmente voy a usar do o voy a usar does. Yes. It is singular or plural, tell me. Plural. plural. Ah, okay. That means if we if we have something in plural, I'm going to use do or does. Do. Do. Ah, do. okay. Okay. Do nurses take care of patients in hospital? Las enfermeras cuidan a los pacientes en los hospitales? Okay, number five. Do you plan? Do you plan? Okay. To become, to become um, an electrician. 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 Do you plan to become an electrician? Okay. Y por qué? Por qué voy a usar do? Simple. Porque aquí tengo. Mire, estos son los que van con do. Estos son los que van con das. Okay. Number number six. six. Number six, who wants to read it? Do your assistant always buy to pick Katie? Ah, okay, take care, be careful, be careful. Tengamos cuidadito ahí, por favor. Okay, somebody else, try, try to see it in a, in a different way, and you are going to understand it. Your assistant. 
¿De quién está hablando? El asistente. De una chica que es asistente. Entonces sería she, she, you. No, perdón, perdón. Dos. Das, das, anotemos, das. anotemos, das. Does your assistant always buy so quickly? So quickly, quickly. So quickly. Yes. Tu asistente siempre escribe tan rápido. Estamos hablando de escribir en una computadora. Ok. Ok, seven. It snow in Hawaii. Das, das, anoten, por favor, anotemos. Das, D-A-S, das. Das, it snow in Hawaii. Okay. And the last one. Das. Das. No, se do, porque está hablando de ah, sus okay, vacaciones, okay, okay. sus vacaciones. Ok. Completa, por favor, completa. Do the customers always take their vacation in Miami? Oh, okay. Costellos is like a uh, last name. Como que dijera los López, los Martínez. Okay, okay, let us continue then. Okay, what about um, let it be? Now look this box. Ahora veamos este cuadro. Dice I don't, we don't, you don't, they don't, he doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't. Lo mismo, estos tres llevan el inflection el, uh, acá, pero es la parte también negativa. Lo mismo sucede con estos cuatro. So, based on this, uh, I need that you resolve the next exercise. Complete each sentence with done or doesn't. Try to do. Okay, number one said in in an emergency, you have to fill out form. You don't have to fill out form. Fill out, fill out. En una emergencia, usted no tiene que estar llenando formulario. Ah, okay. Number two, I know my account number. Yo saber el número de mi cuenta. Don't have. Don't. Pero léame la completa, por favor, para que se comprenda. I don't know. Okay. Continue. Déjale que repito. Okay. Uh, I don't know my account number. Okay, yo no me sé mi número de cuenta. Okay, ahí está. Number three, the bank pay a lot of interest on a regular saving account. The bank does pay a lot 
Hi, a lot of interesting on a regular savings account. Oh, okay, the bank doesn't pay a lot of interest. El banco, el banco no paga. Si mucho interés. Okay. Number four. Many students, uh, before I focus, antes de pasar a la number four, aquí en esta parte, para saber cuál de estos voy a usar, es simple. Solo observe si este está aquí o está aquí. ¿Ya? Ramón representa a él es de este lado. ¿eh? David, de este lado. Las enfermeras son ellas, aquí está en este lado. Y así sucesivamente, de esa forma se, se, se puede hacer la clasificación. But let us continue with the rest of this. Okay, number four, many students. Será don o será da? Many students student don't read newspaper at home. Okay. Okay, what about uh, number five? We eat turkey on Thanksgiving at our house. We don't. We don't, okay. We eat turkey on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving at our house. At our house. Our house. Our house. Okay. Nosotros no comimos pavo el día de acción de gracias en nuestra casa. Ahí está. Okay. Number six. The last one. Your last name don't belong in this space. Okay, your last name. No. Do or does? Doesn't. Doesn't belong in this space. Yes. Su apellido. Su último apellido. Okay, and number seven, we like pizza very much. We don't like pizza very much. We don't like pizza very much. Okay, and last one, number eight. Sharina and Rajiv like to clean the house. Set up. Sharina and Rajiv don't like to clean the house. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Hello? Y estos ejercicios los encontramos en la página 38 del, del libro que, que descargamos. Son los den, son los den, are there. Algunos están ahí. No todos ellos. No todos ellos. Ok, let us continue then. Okay, now in exercise number four, what we are going to do is the following. Question and preposition of time. Interview a partner about his or her activities on a typical day at work using information, question, and preposition of time. For example, what do you do in the morning? 
So something else could be, what do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in the evening? And you are going to put here all the activities that uh, your classmate do or does in this case. But remember, you need to use preposition of time. Necesitamos hacer, usar preposiciones de tiempo. Entrevisté a un compañero acerca de las actividades o de un día típico en su trabajo, usando preguntas de información. ¿Cuál es la que comienzan con WH? Y combinadas con preposiciones de, de tiempo. Okay, tell me. Clear or not? Entendemos la instrucción? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to uh, take a screenshot. Hagan un screenshot y lo comparten, por favor. Okay, tell me if you did or not. Me dicen, por favor, si alguien lo hizo. Hizo la captura. No? O sí. Bueno. You can find it in page number 38. Pueden encontrarlo en la página 38 también. Try to work on it, please. Tratemos de... Uh, I'm going to create a breakout room again. Okay, here we go. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you. Um, I guess it's enough for you to do this. Okay, accept the invitation, please. And then uh, you can uh, agree about the one that is going to uh, ask the question. Ahí se ponen de acuerdo quién va a hacer las preguntas. Teacher, no me dejo entrar a la sala. Okay, hold on. Let me see what is happening there. Erika, I'm going to move it to number six. Angel, Angel is with Carlos. Carlos, ¿qué pasó, Carlos? Uh, no, no me dejo entrar a la sala. Ok, hold on. I'm going to move to room number three. Okay, try to accept the invitation, please. Okay. 
now I need to move on here.
Okay, welcome back. Who wants to share the information? Quien desea compartir la información? Hello. Okay, don José Alejandro. Eh, solo una cosa, tichero, sería las que nosotros hacemos o las que hace la persona con las que nos tocó. ¿A quién entrevistamos? Ah, ok. Mm, a mí me tocó Diana. Ok. Eh, Diana dice, in the morning, eh, I put... Eh, prepare breakfast. Eh, prepare the food in the order. In the afternoon, I drink coffee. Okay, okay, okay. Un minuto. Ahí oh. tendría que decir, in the morning, she has to prepare. Ella tiene ah. que preparar esto. She... <laughs> Si vamos a hablar de ella, vimos esa parte también. In the afternoon, she. Ok. Ok. She is the afternoon. No. She is the morning. No. Eh, In the morning, she. She is the, the morning. In the morning. Eh. No, no, no me está comprendiendo. Es así. Por ejemplo, you say in the morning at seven o'clock she has to leave her house en la mañana a las siete en punto. Ahí estoy usando mm -hmm. una preposición. At seven o'clock she mm -hmm. leaves her house. Ella sale de su casa si fuese a las siete. Esa es la instrucción. Usando preposiciones de tiempo. In, on, and at. Pues. Así no, pues. La verdad, pues no, no, lo, no lo hice en esa forma, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. No. Sí, solo sería de, de hacer como un medio cambio ahí, porque acuérdese que es una entrevista que le hizo a alguien. Y a la, Ajá, hora, sí. a, a la hora de dar los resultados, yo voy a decir, ella, en la mañana, a las sí. tales horas, ella hace esto, el día tal, y ahí estoy usando todas las proposiciones el de tiempo. Oh. Ok, ah, ok, okay but don't worry, don't worry. Ok, somebody that wants to do it, alguien más. Tell me. Aló, aló. Hello, teacher. Ok, try to do it, Maya. Mayra. Eh, Nos tocó con Katia el ejercicio. Ok. Este, la primera, nosotros la formulamos así. Eh, la de la in the morning. What are you do at a A.M. Ok. Um, in the afternoon, um, where will train, training be held at 3 p.m. on Saturday? Ok. Um, in the In the evening, sería, why, why are you taking an English class at night at 8 p.m.? Solo no te chance para esas tres. Ah, ok. El tiempo se va a 
estaba alcanzado para formular las preguntas y no las puedo responder. Ah, 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 ok. Ok, I recommend you to study the structure. We already have studied. Ahí aparecen en su material la estructura de cómo hacer las preguntas. Ok, but in order to get uh, familiar with this, let, let us continue with some exercise that I have here. Vamos a hacer como un cambio para, para poder aprender. Ok, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Circle the correct alternative. For example, number one, say farmer picks cherries in, on, or at. Try to remember, yesterday we started this topic. Acuérdense, eh, ¿cuál de las tres preposiciones uh, we are going to use? With seasons. In. Okay, I'm going to give you like a uh, five minutes to do it. And then we are going to compare with somebody else. Number two say Molly's birthday is, ah, el cumpleaños de Molly es Tuesday, so we have on, only two days to prepare a surprise party. Martes, entonces nosotros tenemos solo dos días para prepararle una fiesta sorpresa. In, on, at. Number three, Father Days. I will give a nice present to my father. Día del padre, yo le daré un buen regalo a mi papá. In on at. Next, the football match is o'clock. Shall we watch it together? In on at. And number uh, number five, I get up early the morning and have a big breakfast in on up okay try to resolve Okay, letter result number two, please. Resolvamos el número dos. Molly birthday is Tuesday, so we have only two days to prepare a surprise party. According to what we have studied, do you consider it is uh, letter A, B, or C? B, letter A. Letter? B. Okay, you need to be sure. You need to be sure about this. 
Sonará bien decir Molly Verde is in Tuesday. Sería con at Sumer. Number two is on Tuesday. Ah, okay, because we are going to use on. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dice la regla? Vamos a usar on con qué? Con fechas específicas o días específicos. Days of the week. Days of the week. On Tuesday, so we have only two days to prepare a surprise party. Okay, what about number three? Father Day, I will give a nice present to my father. Which one is the right one? Number three. Thing. Hello? At Father's Day. Shara at? The number three. Yes, number three. E. In Father's Day, I give and give night presents to my father. Ah, okay. Será? What do you remember about? Tell me. In Father's Day. Ah, okay. You need to keep in mind all the rules. Será in, será on. Um. <laughs> Tell me. Con, porque el día del padre es un día específico. Ah, ok. Con, ajá, porque es ajá, sí, on. Padre Day. Es como que si fuese una fecha, ¿cierto? Ok, you need to be careful about this. Ok, number, number four. The purple match is... Apple. At watch it together. At, at clock. At, at o'clock. At eight o'clock. Okay. At eight o'clock. Es una hora específica. Number three. Uh, number five. Say I get up early. In the, the morning. morning. In the morning and have a big breakfast. Okay. Bueno, creo que voy a tener que compartirles eh, esas diapositivas de cuando usar in at on para que quede muy claro porque todavía veo que hay como una duda. Yes, sir. Ok, I'm going to do it. Let me see. Sí, have it Let me see if I have it today. Ok, ok, I'm going to do it later on. Okay, we are so close to finish today because of the time. Let me check up uh, the attendance. And uh, I'm going to share with you the, the info in order that you... can study more about this topic. Because later on, we are going to study the same preposition, but not only uh, as a, a time preposition. We are going to use it like a place. Luego veremos las mismas preposiciones, pero ya no como de tiempo, sino como de lugar. In, on, at. Y hay que, saber, hay que aprender la diferencia entre ambas. Ok. Ana Victoria, are you there? Yes, yes. Ok, thank you. Uh, Andrés. Present teacher. Ok, Ángel. Present teacher. Brenda, Natalie. Brenda. No here. Ok, Carlos. Present. Diana. 
Present teacher. Erika. Present teacher. Evelyn, Karina. I'm here. Okay, uh, Ingrid. Present teacher. Uh, Ismael. Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Okay, Julianette is not here today. Okay, um, Katia, Maria. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Now here, Marvin. Now here, Marvin. Uh, Mayra? Present teacher. Okay. Michael? Rosalie? Present teacher. Okay. Sandra? Present teacher. And Sonia? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, later on, I'm going to share with you some information, extra information related with uh, with this preposition at in and on, in order that you can have more information about. Eh, posteriormente voy a compartir con ustedes, quizás no hoy, sino eh, otro día, alguna información extra referente al uso de in at on como preposiciones de tiempo para que les quede más claro y no haya ninguna duda, ¿ok? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend, and I hope to see you uh, next Monday. Remember, we left only one, one week, so no nos queda una semana. Try to participate. Tratemos de participar más, so no nos queda una semana. Eh, y completemos eh, la, las actividades en la plataforma para subir esas notas. Okay, thank you very much. La tutoría para el día de hoy le correspondía a Martin Alexander, but I don't see, I don't see it here. No lo veo acá. Teacher. Hello, sir. Eh, fíjate que en la plataforma, creo que no sé si es en la tarea 5. Eh, o sea, yo ya hice la tarea, pero siempre me da negativo en la respuesta. Ah, Ya lo hice de diferentes maneras y no, no me da la opción correcta ni nada. Okay, if you want, you can stay at the end and uh, I can uh, give you an extra explanation. Si usted lo considera, se queda al final y yo le puedo dar una orientación más. Ah, está bien, teacher. Okay. Thank you very good much. Morning. Good night. See you good Monday. Night. Bye bye. Take good care. Night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Good night, Bye. everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Let me get into the platform. Let him enter the platform. Or if you want, you can share the, the screen with me. Si usted puede, eh, si está desde un computador para que comparta. La pantalla conmigo está desde un celular o de la computadora? Soy desde mi celular, teacher. Ah, oh, okay. It's difficult, it's difficult for you to do it. Okay, but you say homework number five, right? Usted dice que es eh, la tarea número cinco, ¿cierto? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on a second. Permítame un segundito, por favor.
number five, you said, okay. Okay, let me share with you this. Voy a compartir mi pantalla para ver si es ese el ejercicio. Me dice si es ese, por favor. Eh, no, no es ese. Pero este lo está Es de unas, de unas preguntas que hay que ordenarlas. Sí, pero entonces tendría que decirme qué número, porque ese es el 5. Oh. Esa es la tarea 5. Mm, voy a ver si me puedo conectar de aquí de mi teléfono. Sí, porque si me dice el, el número de tarea exacto, yo le busco rápido. Ya le digo, teacher. Ok. Ahorita. Espero que me cargue aquí para que... Era del midterm exam. Mm, no, ese eh, nada, hoy en la tarde lo estaba haciendo. Es okay. la tarea 6, teacher. Ok, el garaje. ¿La, ¿La puede ver? Eh, la tarea 6. Sí, se la estoy mostrando. ¿La puede ver? Sí, esta es. Ok, déjeme see what here. Veamos lo que pasa acá. This interaction is scrambled the following affirmative and negative statement. Make sure to begin your sentence with a capital letter and type a period at the end. Esto yo lo expliqué. Asegúrese que comience su oración con letra inicial mayúscula y al final póngale un punto. Entonces, ¿El punto o el, el de interrogación? No, no, no. Un punto. Porque son oraciones afirmativas. O no. Ah, yeah. Por eso ah, que... por ahí va la cosa. Porque, vaya, en la tarea, si no me equivoco, en la tarea 13, entre el 13 o el 12, teacher, eh, sale otro ejercicio similar a este también. Ah, ok. Vaya, sí, voy a voy a probar así como dice este teacher de. Sí, tiene que usar inicial mayúscula y al final tiene que ponerle punto. Punto. Va. Sí. Bo Voy a probar así. Okay. Hasta, que me, hasta que me salga, teacher. Sí, ahí me, me va avisando y yo le voy ayudando, ¿cierto? Vaya, está bueno, teacher. Ok, thank you very much and I hope to no. see you next Monday. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Gracias a usted por ayudarme. Ok. Bye.